Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our monthly webinar series. I'm Enoch Mufikwe, Learning and Development Practitioner for GeoTap Africa. So for those of you who are joining us for the first time, firstly, thank you so much for joining us. And just to sort of go through a basic housekeeping, just take note that all sessions are recorded and should you experience any type of signal loss during the session, do not be too weary or stress about it. You can watch the recording at a later stage. All right, and for any questions that you guys might have, please drop it in the Q&A section and I will be handling those questions towards the end of the session. So in today's topic or today's session, we are going to be discussing why as fleet managers, we need to engage and retain drivers through recognition. And this topic came about by identifying one of the greatest challenges that we have right now, which is losing a lot of um, skilled drivers in the industry, all right? And we will be then unpacking this topic from two aspects. Number one, we need to understand the challenges that drivers go through on a day-to-day -day basis, as well as fleet managers. And then secondly, how do we then engage drivers and retain them through telematics as a solution? And once understanding the two aspects, this is where then we'll be diving in and understanding what are then the long-term benefits of engaging with your drivers, all right? So at this point, the first and by far the most important question, which is what sort of has brought us to having this as a topic for our series? What is recognition and why is recognition so important? So recognition, ladies and gentlemen, is the acknowledgement of fleet drivers, especially their skill. So if you think about it, in most organizations, in any industry that you can think of, not only fleet-based organizations, all employees bring in a different set of skill sets to the table. Whereas for drivers, the only skill that they can bring to the business is, well, their driving abilities. So what more important for us as fleet managers to take some time and acknowledge and recognize their driving and in the long run, making drivers also having a sense of being and being acknowledged as part of the business itself, right? So now we sort of understand what we mean when we then talk about recognition in this regard. I think then we can dive into the session. What are the challenges then that drivers face on a day-to-day -day basis, as well as fleet management. Once we understand these challenges, as I said, once we move and step into the driver's feet or shoes, this is where we understand what mitigation factors can be put in place. Effectively, that is, right? Driver engagement is one of the high, high challenges that we see when it comes to drivers. And when talking about driver engagement, we mean how do you involve your drivers into your day-to-day -day operations as well as your day-to-day -day decisions? How do you sort of get buy-in from them? How do you make them feel as if they are part of the decision-making process, especially when it comes to the introduction or the improvement of fleet management solutions? And in my years in the fleet industry, this is where I've seen a lot of drivers sort of having a bit of resistance or becoming a bit weary when it comes to fleet management solutions. And I think we all know why, right? This is where some drivers would think I'm being spied on or they basically want to get rid of me or get rid of us. It is our duty as fleet managers to make drivers understand the main purpose, the bigger picture of introducing fleet management solutions, right? And with that being said, once the fleet management solutions have been put in place, the next challenge that we have identified with some companies, even the ones that already have fleet management solutions, is coaching. You know, what mechanisms or tools do you have or have put in place to sort of coach your drivers? Because remember, we said they are already feeling that they are under the eye. They are being spied on. Someone wants to get rid of them. What is it that you doing to make sure that they feel involved? When you identify their errors, what are you doing to sort of curb and turn them to be in a positive way, not only for the company, but for the driver as well. In-cab coaching, 
With GeoTabs driver feedback, as well as the GoTalk device, this is where in-cab coaching has revolutionized the industry on a big scale. Drivers on their day-to-day -day operations, when breaking certain rules or parameters, this is where the GeoTab driver feedback will send audible alerts to let the driver know when certain rules or certain parameters have been broken. And with that, then what happens is not only will it the process wait for the time you have to give feedback to the drivers as a fleet manager, but drivers can now also start taking accountability as they are the ones receiving these notifications as it happens in the driver's seat. Okay, feedback timing. So let's tie the feedback timing to the previous two points, engaging. So feedback is a way of engaging, all right? And then once given coaching, how do you give feedback? The when and the way is also then important, all right? How do you then do it? This is where the driver feedback, the driver scorecard is going to come into place in terms of how feedback is then also then given, all right? And remember that, when you put all of these things that I've touched on into place, what is the ultimate end result? Trust, buy-in from your drivers. And with that, it leads them to driver retention. This is where fleet-based organizations will start to see less and less drivers leaving and coming into the organization as what we have seen happening in fleet-based industries currently in South Africa. All right, so those are the challenges. Remember that there can be more challenges and when it comes to this topic of challenges it's not a matter of one size fits all do a proper analysis when it comes to your fleet understand them and put the correct mitigation um, actions in place that is specially suited for your organization all right and then what are then five ways of um, five ways that we can engage and retain drivers with telematics Right. So we've moved now to the element of understanding the challenges. We now move to the part where we need to engage with our drivers and retain them through telematics. So the first one is then recording accurate mileage to help um, determine fair compensation. So with GeoTabs trip history data, this is where you're getting all accurate trip histories in terms of day-to-day -day operations when it comes to your drivers. The report is going to correctly and accurately identify the starting, the finishing of each and every trip conducted by all your drivers. All right. And also with that, it's going to, in a well-detailed form, identify how long each driver has stopped in certain zones or certain areas, be it customer or non-customer. OK, furthermore, um, how long they spend between one customer on the road to the next, uh, things like only idling time in between each and every trip. So this sort of then gives you the front seat into monitoring um, productivity when it comes to your drivers. And this is from a management perspective, but from a driver's perspective, this will give them assurance that when it comes to compensation, it's going to be done in a respected and accurate way because all the data is recorded accurately on one simple to read um, report from my GeoTab. All right. And then furthermore, manage hours of service to better organize personal time. So with the identification of each and every trip conducted by the drivers, identifying where they started, where they've ended, this is where with proper analysis, both from you as a fleet manager and the driver, you can determine the best possible routes for future engagement or for future operations to minimize drive time, to minimize time spent on the road, or to actually just maximize um, working hours of one day for each and every driver. All right. So remember that with my GeoTab, we also have the routes feature that you can also identify to your drivers where to start, where to end for your day-to-day -day operations or deliveries. And with that, 
Fleet managers have the option of a simple click to allow the system itself to optimize their routes. And then they can choose whether to go for the optimized new plan or to stick to the original plan for the organization itself, right? And lastly, we see that one of the ways that telematics can help us engage and retain is, I mean, retain drivers is by reinforcing driver safety with management and reporting tools. The driver safety scorecard comes into place over here. How do you in reinforce the safety of the drivers? How do you give them assurance that as a company, you are taking their safety into consideration and on a higher level, if I can mention. So with the um, Geotab driver safety scorecard, I'm gonna show it to you just now. This is where the answers to that uh, telematics comes into place, but not only telematics as a solution, but also, it will assist in motivating drivers with gamification, right? What do we mean when we say gamification? So gamification is the process of applying characteristics which are usually typical of gaming. If you think of a game, you, you think of competition, positive competition at the end of the day, how it slowly improves your skill uh, the more you do it. And that is where gamification uh, on my GeoTab as a solution will assist fleet-based organizations to head into the right direction, All right? So firstly, what are then the benefits of introducing this gamification or approaching it? on a gamification um, basis. Benefits, it's going to help you to track fleet performance on a regular basis. It's going to help you to retain high performing drivers in the organization, which is what each and every organization then ultimately needs because with high performing drivers, we are going to have proper asset utilization in our fleet, okay? It's going to reduce instances of things like speeding, um, distracted driving, ultimately then going back to high performing drivers, which is what each and every fleet based organization is currently looking for or aiming for um, when selecting or uh, choosing a fleet management solution. All right. So the driver safety scorecard is also then one of the ways that we can then curb the driving behavior. What you guys see in front of you is the results and the driver safety scorecard of company A. With the inception of this report on their database, we see that on the left, the average fleet score was a 54.5 and it's in red, meaning high risk according to the report's classification. So with every fleet manager that I have engaged with, that I have trained, red is where we want to steer away from so what can we do which tools can we use or how do we use the driver safety scorecard to move away from the red right so as you can see here below we've got all the vehicles being identified so the report how it works is you will choose six main rules that you prioritize when it comes to the safety of your drivers say for example driving behavior all right so with company a six rules have been pre-selected and already we can see without me explaining the report it is clearly evident where the area of concern is and it's speeding so most drivers are losing most points when it comes to speeding what does this mean for both fleet management as well as the drivers for fleet managers, this is where you can use this tool to identify coachable areas. So you're identifying areas of improvement from your drivers. Now, believe it or not, at this point, I have heard and seen many fleet managers using the words, I'm going to catch my drivers. Take a pause. Remember that the truest nature of my GeoTab as a platform is not to catch your drivers, but rather to see how you can work with them to improve and take care of company vehicles while also ensuring the safety of your drivers. All right. So use it as a coaching tool, not as a getting rid of drivers tools. All right. And then also then what does it mean from the driver's perspective when using this tool over here? This is going to help them to take accountability and identify where their mistakes are. Not forgetting all the notifications and audible alerts that they have received prior while doing their day-to-day -day operations through the GeoTabs driver feedback. Okay, so 
This is a nice tool to identify coachable areas, but this is not the only amazing part when it comes to the driver safety scorecard. When looking at the driver safety scorecard, another element of the report is the top and bottom performer section. So what this then does is it will take all the drivers from company A and give them a score, be it at the end of the week, end of the month or end of the year. You control your date range or your data range when it comes to all the information provided on our reports. All right. So the top and bottom performer is going to identify who are the best performing drivers. And here, this is where you can introduce possibly some type of way of rewarding or incentivizing drivers for best performing. Believe you me, you will see great results once they understand that there is a reward purely based on acknowledging their driving skills. But this is from a management perspective. What does this report, the top and bottom report do for drivers? As I've mentioned earlier on, it's going to now introduce and create a positive relationship or a positive competitive relationship between themselves. On the site, everything is explained. What does it mean then for the company itself? Better asset utilization. Ultimately, that is what every fleet-based organization is looking out for. Better asset utilization. It reduces unnecessary fuel consumption. We've seen the hiking of pricing price fuels in South Africa in the last five years. It also reduces unnecessary vehicle repairs, unnecessary accidents. All right. So with everything then being laid on the table and unpacked, understanding the challenges that drivers go through as well as fleet managers, and also how we can engage and retain drivers through telematics as a solution. What are then the benefits of engaging with drivers? So with the five that I've laid in front of me right now, I know that where you are sitting right now, you must have been having your own discussions. You know, you have your own points. Very good. It means that now you are headed in the right direction in terms of putting the correct mitigation factors in place for your organization. But in front of you, we see that just to name a few, we have things like increased fuel efficiency. We've mentioned things like reducing uh, the amount of unnecessary accidents as well as vehicle repairs, just to name a few. And with everything that you guys have thought about as benefits of everything that I've discussed, as well as what I've, what you see right now on the slide, ultimately the end result is trust. The end result is buy-in from our drivers. The minute you get that, you are doing the right thing. All right. So to make sure that you are headed in the right step in terms of getting the buy-in as well as trust from your drivers, to make sure that you are putting the correct mitigation factors as well as telematic solutions. Uh, this is where, if you want more information, you can get in touch with our team and we'll be ready to assist you. Remember that with GeoTab, um, as an open platform, uh, fleet managers have access to even more tools to assist when it comes to providing you with answers for your day-to-day -day fleet challenges that you might be experiencing, all right? So if you want to get in touch with our team, please uh, visit us on info at geotabafrica.com. Uh, before we close it off, I just want to see if we have any questions. I do see that we have already in our registrations a couple of people ordering or requesting callbacks, all right? So for those of you who requested callbacks for demos, as well as more explanation on more products on our platform, I will surely get in touch with you or our sales team will be getting in touch with you. All right, seems like we don't have any questions at the moment, right? Remember, if you do get any questions after the recording is done, you can pop it up and leave it on our social media platforms, all right? And as you can see, there's all the contact information if you want to get in touch with our team, all right? From my side, two questions. Two minutes, oh. Let me give you guys two minutes. If you have any questions, this is the opportunity that you can uh, basically throw it in.
see that no questions at the moment. Guys, remember that everything is given to you in terms of the contact information. Be in touch with our sales team at a later stage. We are more than ready to assist you. Um, like I said, for everyone who requested a callback, um, we'll surely be in touch soon after this presentation. Once again, thank you very much. And I do hope to see you in our next webinar series. So be on the lookout for the newsletters that will be released shortly. Thank you very much, guys. Have a lovely day.